What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks, and this is Druid's Finest, and I am back with Shadowrun Dragonfall Part 70. I was right. The last episode was Part 69, so going down was a good plan. Anyways, I just talked to this guy. He informed me that I'm going to have to fight the White Basilisk in the Underworld. Oh, God. Is that another fight? I killed his guys, and I talked to him, so maybe not. Good. Okay, so I convinced him to not fuck around with me anymore. That's good. It's in this room. If I had if I had fought him, I would have had to fight those guys too. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Hopefully I can find something around here, a gun, a med pack. Oh, another surveillance terminal. Interesting. And I got the key card B. Okay. It looks like this media setup is wired into the building's security system. Video feeds from cameras. All over the facility can be viewed here. Search the machine's video archive. Paging through the computer's file system, you find a number of archived video feeds from the building surveillance system. In addition, episodes 1 through 6 of an old so Slovakian period fancy se fantasy series called Night Kings of Lighting Hold have been saved to the machine's desktop. Ah, that's how he went crazy. I get it. That's how he went crazy. He was watching all these episodes over and over and over again for two years. Oh, that makes so much sense. Now I understand why he thinks he's some fucking king of this place. I remember that show. It was horrible. I mean, really, really bad. Made Neil the Orc Barbarian look like high art. Me and my buddies in the Schwarzenherzen used to get high and laugh at it. It only ran for seven episodes before it got pulled. Oh god, more reading. Why is it a reading rainbow? LaVarn Burton! LaVarn Burton! Okay. Sorry. I don't, I don't know. LaVarn, you're awesome, but... Ugh, so much reading. According to the computer's file system, each of the six episodes has been viewed over 400 times in the past two years. The last marathon viewing was this morning. So that's how that guy went fucking nuts. I knew it. Oh, so now I'm actually getting to watch some stuff. Okay, this I don't mind because it has short little cutscenes and stuff that I can watch, right? So that's kind of awesome, but still a shitload of reading. It kind of, kind of blows, but whatever. As the video feed kicks in, Philip is engaged in an animated discussion with someone who's standing just outside of camera range. You can see his shoes. Where? I can't see his shoes. And his shadow, but nothing more. Can't see shit. The voice sounds human. You'd guess that the off-camera speaker is a man in his early 20s. Look, we've survived. We have. Look, we've survived this long. If we play our cards right and do a proper bit of uh, rationing, I reckon that we can live off the ex uh, the executive snack bar for a long time to come. We'll have plenty of fat and sugar. Those won't be a problem. We've got mixed nuts for protein, and we can get our vitamins and minerals from diet bars. Ugh, okay, sorry, burping. There aren't many of those, but like I said, we'll ration. I'll be willing to bet that we can hold out for two to three months on what's stashed away in the snack bar. We're sure to be rescued before we run dry. You're fooling yourself, man. Ignoring the un an unpleasant truth rather than facing it. We have to accept the fact that we could be stuck in here for the long haul. The snacks are great and all, but they can't be our staple food stuff. We need to stretch them out as far as humanly possible. 
and that means supplementing them with something more substan substantial. There's a long pause. You don't mean. Look, just think of it like farming, right? If we look after the crops, we'll always have food to eat. We'll have enough supplies on hand to keep the tissue cultures in the org chem wings growing indefinitely. What I'm talking about is growing meat for our own survival. That is, that all is, it is. That's all it is, sorry. Metahuman meat, fill synthetic hearts and livers and kidneys grown to be implanted into people like you and me. You're going to be eating people parts? It's fucking disgusting. I won't do it. If I was in a survival situation, I would eat you and everybody you care about. Just saying. Unless you fancy dying of mal malnutrition, you're going to have to. You know that as well as I do. Organs... Organ meats are rich in vitamins and minerals, chlorine, whatever, COQ10, vitamin D, biovaluable iron, all things that we're going to need if we want to survive in the long term. You won't find much vitamin D in licorice sticks and choco nubs. You're talking like, there's, like they're never going to rescue us. We're in Berlin, Heiner. What they, who do you think is coming? We need to be prepared to survive here for a long time, maybe years, and that means making the most of the resources at our, making the most of the resources at our disposal. You're talking about resorting to cannibalism, man. No, I'm talking about eating meat. Sometimes you just gotta eat meat. Video flickerbacks, winks out, blah, blah, blah. You find yourself deposited back at the main menu. Okay, 14 months ago. That one was from 18, this is 14. An image flickers onto the frame. Philip leaning against the wall, listlessly, chewing on unidentifiable hunk of cooked meat. He looks miserable. A drone comes to inspect him, and he pushes it away. Heiner's voice crackles over the intercom. Philip. Philip doesn't look up. I'm going now. Phil, no more arguments, okay? There's a long pause. In lieu of responding, Phil takes another bite of meat and gnashes it with his teeth. I'll kill that fucking thing. You'll see. That goddamn basilisk is going down. Once we can get down into the sewers again, we might be able to find a way out. This is our chance, Philip. Wish me luck. Oh, stuff is going weird, man. So, yeah, stuff is weird, man. Okay. The video feed flickers onto the screen. In it you find Philip standing in the corner of the room that you're in. Now he looks haggard, exhausted, and he carries a haunted look in his eyes. Einer is notably absent. Cheap synthesized music pipes in from somewhere off screen. Philip turns to stare in the direction of the that the music came from. A smooth baritone voice sings out a phrase in a Slavic, in, in a phrase in Slavic. A half second later, a different voice shouts, a translation in German. Night, kings of lightning, hold. Oh man, that's it. That's the show. I forgot how bad the dub job was. Philip stares glassy eyed as the show begins. The synthesized music blares. A deep, trollish voice rumbles out of the media's center speakers. I, Titonius Rex, oh God, will defend my realm 
I do so swear it before my magic sword. Argonar! This I do swear! Okay. This is getting somewhere weird now. An almighty, breathy, elvish voice sings out in response. But Titonius! The Jabuthian hordes will make, will smite you if they, if you stay. The people in that valley are only peasants. You needn't throw your life away for them. Flee with me into the enchanted woods of Tralashin. Oh, God. Please make this stop. Please, by all means, please make this stop. This is already terrible. My life is sworn to protect those peasants, she-elf. Run back to your enchanted trees, if you will, but a night king will never flee. Oh, God. But Titonius, her voice comes out in a lilting wail. You cannot die. I love you. Oh, my God. Just end it, man. Oh, this is bad. This is just bad. Ugh. Then go further and beseech him. To rally his elf troops southwards. Oh wait, go to, then go to your father and beseech him to rally his elf troops southwards. For if Titonius Rex falls, Lightning Hold will fall, and Lightning Hold will not fall. Oh my god. Ugh. The troll drones on, audibly struggling to emote. An occasional tripping over his lines. Oh. Emote and occasionally tripping over his lines. Overall, the acting quali quality is roughly on par with what you'd expect from a primary school Christmas pageant. Okay. Philip stares at the screen, listlessly chewing his meat. His nose wrinkled in distaste, and his fists clench and un at, uh, and his fists clench and unclench. What the fuck? Okay, this one's from eight months ago. The screen flickers on, and a video feed of Philip pops in onto the screen. He's standing in the corner watching an episode of Night Kings of Lightning Hold. His jaw hangs slack. And he stares at the screen in rapt attention. Oh my god. You can see him slowly going nuts in this. This is awesome. Oh, not more of this. Why more of this? But Father, Titonius Resk is risking his life, nay, his very soul, to defend Lightning Hold from the Jubuthornus. Oh, the dude. <laughs> The Jibathons. Oh man. His enchanted sword Argo Nar feeds upon his honor and bravery, and it seeks to transform him in from a noble knight king into a de into an evil demon lord. Oh what the fuck is what's it talking about? Philip's lips move silently, mouthing the words as they are spoken. Evidently his he has committed his the entire script to memory. Okay, so yeah, he's memorized all of it. Oh no, more. Oh, it's a lot of reading. It's a lot of reading, but it's it's kind of interesting. You're seeing his descent into madness. It's great. I like this a lot. My darling daughter, that is why I cannot send my troops. Your beloved Titanus Titonius Rex walks the knife's edge between light and darkness every time he draws that devil blade from its scabbard. It is long past time that you learned the truth about me, Brenathe. I was the one who trapped the demon Lord Carbork within that blade. Oh, what the hell. The breathy actress Let's out a sharp gasp. Phil mimes the motion, and tear, and a tear begins to trace its way down his cheek. What the fuck? But father, you can't mean. Yes, my daughter. 
I was the one they called Thunder Spear. Okay. I was the one they called Thunder Spear, the sworn enemy of Titonius Rex's people, the Honga Barbarian tribe. What's it talking about now? Then all of this is your fault. The Jubuthans, the threat to my beloved soul, all of it. Oh, wow. So dramatic. Oh, my stomach. Ugh. I don't know if you guys heard that. My, on Tuesday, yesterday, I had really sharp pains right where my liver is. It was pretty messed up. And it's been, my stomach's just been like all screwed up all day today. Okay, anyways. I was the only, it was the only way to save Trala Sheen, my darling daughter. Trala Sheen and your mother, whom I hid away when you were but a girl. She's still alive, Brennethe. A drone floats by to inspect Philip idly. He reaches out and begins to stroke its casing, petting it as if it were a house cat. The video feed flickers, sputters out, and you find yourself back at the main menu. Okay, last one. This one was from today. The screen flickers and Philip appears on the screen. He appears to be dancing with one of the security drones. The little machine weaves and bobs frantically to avoid colliding with him. And, the, and with every motion, the lab tech slides in to fill the empty space. Around and around they go, twirling and whirling, or riddling, across the laboratory floor. There is an enormous smile on Philip's face. Then the lights go dim and an alarm begins to sound. Danger, danger, intruder detected, security protocols engaged. I admire your bravery, noble vessel. Okay, so these are the ones I killed, obviously. Philip rests a hand on top of the little drone. But this is my fight. I, Philip Rex, will defend this land with my life, indeed with my very soul. Sir, please clear the area. Hostiles inbound. No, noble spirit. It is you who must. I repeat, clear the area. Hostiles inbound. He nods slowly, his face brimming with pride. Maybe you're right. I'm already a night king. Perhaps this is your time to shine. I will not rob you of this mo moment of glory. I will... Allow you your moment in the sun, and when you return victorious, I will grant you lands and, title to, and titles to reward your heroism. Please clear the area. Okay, so that's done. I don't know. Just, I, I don't know. And I know I missed that last part there. That, that very last part. I missed that. Sorry, everybody. I mean, maybe I can read it now. Let me see. Search the machine's video archive. I've already did this. I did this. Okay, walk away. Yeah, it won't let me read it anymore. But yeah, you can pause it and read it if you want. But I am going to end this episode right now. And I think, yeah, I've got enough time to do one more. I've got enough time to do one more. If this thing will just let me save. Sorry, I'm reading my text like... Uh-huh. So, I believe in the next episode, I'll, I can I can either go in that one room, because I have the access card for it, the B room, and then there's two places that I can search downstairs, so I think I might check the downstairs areas first, 
and then check those doors in the next episode. Anyways, I'm coming right back, so stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Peace!